Do these jeans make my butt look big or too flat? These jeans are gapping at the waist. These jeans are too small. These jeans are too big. Hi guys, the struggle is real when it comes to finding jeans that fit. Sometimes I'm feeling like Goldilocks up in the dressing room, but don't worry, if you know what to look for, it gets easier. So in today's video, I am sharing my secret jean hunting tips. Jeans are a major wardrobe staple, but it can be hard to find the right style and fit for your body type. That's actually step one, know your body type. And don't forget that height and proportions will play a major role in fit as well. I would say that straight leg jeans with a medium rise would be the most universally flattering. And this is a time that I wouldn't be afraid to splurge on an investment piece because you can wear them a ton of different ways and they'll last you for a really long time. And speaking of the rise of your jeans, that's something that's super important to understand as well because if they're too high, they're going to cut you off in an unflattering way. If they're too low, you have a potential muffin top situation and they can also cut you off in the wrong way and make you look shorter because it's giving the illusion of shorter legs even if you are tall. So I would reserve an ultra low rise jean for somebody that is on the taller side. Even though my husband hates them and he calls me Marsha Brady every time I wear my flared jeans, I happen to love them. With the flared leg and the higher waist, they give the illusion of both a teeny tiny waist and longer legs and who doesn't want that in their life? Mom jeans, dad jeans, boyfriend jeans, grandpa jeans, basically any jeans that sound like they belong to another family member are a hard no for me. I'm on the shorter side, five foot four, and so anything that's baggy, just I find to make me look shorter and sometimes even heavier than I am. And so for me, that's the reason that I don't like those. But if I do want something that is closer to a mom jean, I will go for a regular jean with a slightly more relaxed fit. That way I'm not swimming in a bunch of extra fabric and again, giving the illusion that I am larger than I am. And I also don't really care for the way that some of those jean fits can make it look like you have on a poopy diaper. So just an unflattering silhouette for me that I would prefer to stay away from. Something else you wanna be cautious of if you are on the shorter side are cropped jeans. Those can also add to the illusion of a shorter leg, which is never how I'm trying to look. Skinny jeans are another style of jean that can be universally flattering if you can get the right fit. And quality here is especially key. So things like fabric that bunches or gaps in the waist or that weird ill-fitting seam that gives the illusion of going straight up your butt crack, all of those things are quality issues. And so this is another pair of jeans that I wouldn't shy away from spending a little bit more money on. Now here's another tip that might sound really weird, but something that I pay attention to in all jeans is the zipper. So is it really teeny? Is it really long in length? Those are two things that my eye immediately goes to, even if I'm looking at them online. I was online shopping the other day and there was this pair they were touting as, ooh, this petite jean, and I'm like, oh, cool. That caught my eye because again, I am on the shorter side, um, but I looked at them up close and they had like a 14 inch zipper in them. And I'm thinking, how unflattering is this jean gonna be on a petite person with a 14 inch zipper? So that's a weird little trick that I like to look for when I am checking out jeans. Now, black jeans or jeans with a darker wash are also a great wardrobe staple because you can dress them up, you can dress them down. I also think they're a really nice option Option for evenings you know on those nights where it's too cold to wear a skirt or a dress you can dress up a pair of dark wash or black jeans and make a really cute date night or evening look torn jeans can be fun for a more casual look and it's also a nice way to add some embellishment without actually adding embellishments so things like rhinestones bejeweled pockets those are gonna be a hard pass for me they just don't look chic and they're very outdated what are the weird little things that you guys look for when trying on jeans? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.